Kolleru Lake is the largest freshwater lake located in Andhra Pradesh between the Krishna and the Godavari Delta. It spans into two districts, the Krishna and the West Godavari. The lake serves as a natural flood balancing reservoir for these two rivers. The lake is fed directly by water from the seasonal Budameru and Tamil Eru streams and is connected to the Krishna and Godavari systems by over 68 inflowing drains and channels. The lake was notified as a wildlife sanctuary in the year 1999. The wildlife sanctuary covers an area of 308.55 square kilometer, the total entire Kolliru Lake being 901 square kilometer. The lake was an important habitat for 20 million resident and migratory birds including the grey or spot-billed pelican. The rich flora and fauna attracts migratory birds from Northern Asia and Eastern Europe between the months of October and March. The sun hides with grey herons, egrets, painted stalks and black-headed ibises gathering in thousands at Koliru Lake. The combination of culture and capture fisheries are practiced in the area. Kolleti Kota, situated in the middle of the lake, has got a temple of the local deity, 
Sri Pedinti Ammavari Temple is one of the oldest and famous temples found in Kolleru. సన్నిధానానికి వచ్చే భక్తులు వారి కోరికలు నెరవేరగానే ఒక అన్నదాన కింద ఒక పది మందిలో యాభై మందిలో వంద మందిలో పిలుచుకుని వచ్చి భోజనాలు చేసుకుంటూ అందరూ కూడా ఈ సరస్సు ఒడ్డున ఉన్న ఈ గుల్లేటి దెబ్బ మీద ఆ జగన్మాత సన్నిధానంలో అందరూ కూడా సామూహికంగా భోజనాలు చేస్తూ సుఖ సంతోషాలతో వర్ధిల్తూ ఉంటారు ఎవ్రీ ఇయర్ thousands of people visit the temple on a particular day during the annual jatra thousands of fish tanks were dug up affecting the conversion of the lake into a amur drain this had a lot of impact in terms of pollution leading to even difficulty in getting drinking water for the local people in the year 2005 the government had performed operation koliru wherein fish tanks in the koliru lake were demolished till date the government is yet to express concern to the villagers occupying the area surrounding the lake This imbalance has an adverse effect on the thousands of acres of crop in the upper reaches of the sanctuary in view of stoppages of water flow into the sea because of obstruction by bunds of the fish tanks that appeared illegally. Because of the illegal activities human beings had destroyed the beauty of the lake it has resulted in adverse effects on thousands of acres of crop What we sow is what we reap. Hence it is necessary to protect nature and cause no harm for it.